Welcome back to Stats Impacts for Monday, May 9th of 2022. All right, let's get a random number here and see what we can get. Uh, we're going to roll the dice to see how many times we hit the number generator. We got five. And then we'll talk a little bit about some of the things going on in baseball and the stats. And one, two, three, four. We got number four, which is... 2021 update. All right. Let's see. Get all these numbers out of here. I think we got them all. Yep, they're all right here. Just grab one out of the stack. They're all kind of all stuck together, but go ahead and grab one and see what we can get here. All right, we got number four. Four. Alright, number four right there. Now I'm going to talk about some of the stuff. Now in the AL East, we have the New York Yankees with a one and a half game lead over uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Then you have Minnesota in the AL Central by quite a bit, three game. And then we have uh, Los Angeles Angels by half a game over Houston in the West. And then we have the Mets with a five and a half game lead. Over Miami, Milwaukee with a two and a half game lead in the Central over St. Louis at 19 and nine, and the Dodgers with a one and a half game. But the Dodgers, Padres, Colorado Rockies, and Giants—you know—they're kind of going to interchange each other this year. But the Giants did have a big win last year, last night after you know not having such a good week. But with that, uh, those are our team leaders, and let's go and see what we get out of 2021 update. Just that in case we have anything good to put up there. Mike Miner. All right, Mike Miner. All right. He has nothing for this year. He's on the 10-day injured list, so we'll just look at his stats for his career. 79 wins, 78 losses, 4.11 ERA. 276 games, 209 games started. 1,311 innings pitched with 1,197 strikeouts. And he is playing for... The Reds. Cincinnati Reds right now. They won a game, so now they have four wins. Uh, yeah. Daniel Vogelback. Alright. Daniel Vogelbach. He's with the Brewers. As of that. Nope, he's a Pittsburgh Pirate. 80 at bats, 12 runs, 21 hits, 4 home runs, 11 RBIs, no swarm bases with a 263 average. Right, he's a DH and a first baseman, and 263 isn't so bad. It's early, early, early in the season. Hey, Sung Hyun. That's his rookie. That's his rookie debut. So. Ha Song Kim. Let's see what we can get on him. 68 at bat. 14 runs, 15 hits, 3 home runs, 11 RBIs, 1 slow base with a 221 average. Yeah, 221, that's kind of off to a slow start this year, so not so good Luis for that. Luis Patino, rookie. Alright, Luis Patino with the Tampa Bay Rays. As of that card, we'll have to see. Yep, he's a... There you go. No wins, one loss, 13.5 ERA, one game, one game started, 0 0.2 innings pitched with no strikeouts, and placed on the 60-day injured list. Right, so he's uh, out, as far as we know on that. Rough start on that first game. Joey Gerber. Gerber. Rookie. Joey Gerber. Let's see. He only has one year on there. Let's see if he has any minor league stats. Uh, let's see. Alright. Um, see if he's playing down in the minor leagues real quick. He's with the 
Tacoma Rainers. Rainers, right. Let's see. That looks like what he played for. I don't see any other stats. Yeah. No 2021 stats. Um, looks like the last stats, no 2022 stats either. Last thing he had was 2020 down in the minors. Um, yeah, he's down in the minors. Doesn't show any stats, so we'll move on with that one. Nothing on him. Kurt Castle. Kurt Casal. Oh, okay, Kurt Casal. I would really say that. Giants on the card. Let's see what it says on. There you go. He's still with the Giants. 33 at bats, 3 runs, 6 hits, no home runs, 1 RBI, no stolen bases, with a low 182 average. So it looks like he's a, not an everyday catcher. So I don't. I'm pretty sure maybe Joey Bart. I haven't looked at that, but maybe he's the actual. Wilson Ramos. Starter for the Giants. All right, Wilson Ramos. That says he's with the Detroit Tigers. Nope, he's with. The Guardians. All right, and doesn't look like he has no stats this year. So maybe he's, uh, I don't know. Let's, he could be retired. Don't see any stats or nothing on him. Let's just look on here and see what we can get. Wilson Ramos. Let's see what we got here. Oh, he might still be off with injury because he had an ACL tear back in August. So I think he's uh, rehabbing on that stuff. So that's what we see there. And who's next? Ozzy Albies All Star Game. Okay, Ozzy Albies. I haven't checked to see if the Braves are playing better now that Ronald Acuna is back, but it could help. 113 at bats, 14 runs, 26 hits, 6 home runs, 13 RBIs, 3 stolen bases with a 230 average. All right, 230 is kind of low, but I don't know. We need you need the offense to hit, but if they're a really good defender, does that take the slack, you know, up, you know, help you with uh, the other stuff? I mean, 230 average and stuff like that cuz you got some players that are really good defenders, but not so much at the offensive plate. And maybe that's one of the reasons why we have a full-time DH in both leagues yes. now. I know they wanted to get rid of the pitcher out of there, which, you know, takes some of the strategy away, but, you know, that's Casey how that Mize, goes. rookie. Ooh, one for my personal. I like, I've been uh, collecting Casey Mize. That's a cool-looking card. All right. All right. Casey Mize with the Detroit Tigers. He's still there. No wins, one loss, 5.4 ERA, two games, two games started, 10 innings pitched with four strikeouts. So he had a rough start to the year, 5.4 ERA, but he's also on the 10-day injury list. And so, all right. Randy Rosarena. Last year's Rookie of the Year for the Tampa Bay Rays. One hundred and eight at bats, thirteen runs, twenty five hits, no home runs, eight RBIs, four stolen bases with a two thirty one average. So a lot of people aren't really starting off very well this year on the cards we got. But yeah, the Rays are doing okay. They're second place behind the Yankees, who have been just hot so far this year. So right. Michael Kopek. Michael Kopek. We pulled his card uh his rookie card out of 
opening day on one of our shows. And I'm not sure if he's like a going to be a superstar or not, or just kind of there. But here's what we got for him. No wins, no losses, 1.17 ERA, 5 games, 5 games started, 23 innings pitched with 23 strikeouts. So I'm going to put him up there because he is playing really well with, uh, you know, as a relief pitcher. Rookie combos, Wyatt Mills and Jose Goody. Let's see if we can find any information on these guys and then we'll be almost done. Getting down to our Wyatt Mills. He, these are Seattle Mariners. Um, yeah, there you go. No wins, no losses, 1.35 ERA, 5 games, no game started, 6.2 innings pitched with 4 strikeouts. I'd say that's a solid, solid uh, relief pitcher there so far. Alright, Wyatt All right, Wyatt Goody, Jose Goody, I, Jose Godoy. There you go. Small print on there is hard to read, so there you go. Three at bats, two runs, no hits, no home runs, no RBIs, no stolen bases, with no batting average. So he did have a couple at bats, but it looks like he might be down in the minors. So we'll leave it at that. Alicia Hernandez. Oh, let's go like this. Uh, this would be hopefully the Marlins here. Yep. Two wins, one loss, 6.66 ERA, five games, five games started, 24.1 innings pitched with 23 strikeouts. Not playing so good, 6.66 ERA in five games and a 2 and one record, so. Antonio Santos, rookie. I don't see many Colorado Rockies, but. Antonio Santos. That's got to be my first team I like to follow. And then, of course, the. What do you want to call him? Los Angeles Angels. So this guy's no longer with the Rockies. He's with the Mets. So No wins, two losses, 8.83 ERA, 10 games, one game started, 17.1 innings pitched with 14 strikeouts. And that's his career. Uh, let's see. Let's... Antonio, what's his last name? Santos? Let's see. He's down at the minor league so Antonio Santos let's see if we can find any minor league stats on him I know they have been playing alright triple-a affiliate the Syracuse Mets and for this year he has one win no losses not ERA six games no game started nine innings pitched with five strikeouts Right, so yeah, he's struggling a little bit down there at AAA, and yeah. These are our two best cards, Michael Kopech, I think, because he's playing well, and of course Casey Mize, you know, kind of like to PC him. I don't know why, it's just one of those players you gravitate towards for just whatever reason. And that'll be our... Stats Impacts for Monday. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll be back on Wednesday with more opening day Wednesday. Have a great Monday, everybody.